You know, Genesis chapter 31 is a very full chapter in the book of Genesis. It has 55 verses in it, but also there's so much happening in this chapter. And so for today, here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to read a handful of verses from Genesis chapter 31, and then sort of a snippet of scripture from Ephesians chapter six. Genesis 31, listen as I read, starting in verse four. So Jacob called Rachel and Leah out to the fields where he was watching his flock. And he said to them, I've noticed that your father's attitude towards me has changed, but the God of my father has been with me. You know how hard I've worked for your father, but he's cheated me, changing my wages 10 times, but God has not allowed him to do me any harm. Then in Ephesians chapter six, starting in verse five, Paul writes to those early New Testament Christians about this relationship that slaves may have had with masters and for us today, how you as someone who works for someone else may have towards your employer. He says, slaves obey your earthly masters with deep respect and fear. Serve them sincerely as you would serve Christ. Try to please them all the time not just when they're watching you, but as slaves of Christ. Do the will of God with all your heart. Work with enthusiasm, as though you are working for the Lord rather than for people. Remember that the Lord will reward each one of us for the good we do, whether we're slaves or free. You see, in Genesis 31, we find this, this troubling dynamic in the family between Laban and Jacob. And as you read this chapter this morning, you'll find out how God really did keep his hand upon Jacob. Jacob wasn't perfect, but in his work ethic, he honored God by working hard. And for us today, specifically as we read out of the book of Ephesians, wherever you find yourself, that's where you are. That's where God has you. Whether you're the boss or you're working for the boss, whatever you're doing today, work as unto Jesus. Just as in Jacob's day, in the New Testament's day, trust that God will take care of you, that he sees everything. And today, listen, let me have your attention. As Paul would say, work with enthusiasm. Give your best to whatever you put your hand to. Invest your heart, your hands, and your head in whatever God has before you today. Trust him, leave the results to him, let he be the one that makes you fruitful, but you today, be faithful in all that you do. Trust God, take him according to his word, that God sees you and will bless you, just as he's promised to do.